Howdy! And welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Stansberry, your resident content marketing strategist, and I'm here on YouTube teaching you everything from systems to strategy that you need to market your business in the way that will help you grow. But today, I'm going to teach you how to insert your own text and your own style of text into iMovie and get past those generic, kind of ugly title templates. A lot what program I'm using to edit my videos and lots of other video questions and to be honest right now I actually use Adobe Premiere Pro I feel like it has more features and gets me a little bit more of what I need in a, a little bit more of a robust package but for the first year of making YouTube videos I used iMovie and I still use iMovie if I feel the need to use iMovie. It's a perfectly acceptable form of editing your videos and all the things. But one of the biggest complaints that I had and one of the biggest complaints I hear from you guys is that the title templates and the text that you can put on the videos natively is kind of shabby and boring. So if you want to insert text in your iMovie file and in your editing process, it might be really annoying to you that you can't do anything more than what's built in there. But I'm here to tell you that you can and it's really easy. So really, besides iMovie, the only other tool you need for this tutorial is some type of photo or graphic editing or creation software. Now you could go as extreme as Photoshop or Illustrator, or as simple as something like Canva, which you can sign up with a free account. So what I'm going to show you is how to do it in Canva. If you're using Photoshop, it works exactly the same way, but I wanted to make sure those of you who didn't have Photoshop had this at your fingertips. So let's go. I'm going to show you how to insert your own text and titles into iMovie to bypass those ugly things that are built in. Okay, so once in Canva, you will want to go up here to use custom dimensions in your create a design screen. Um, the reason for that is there's not really a good size here to pick from. You could pick from the video template size. So it would be the same size as like a YouTube cover art photo or something like that. But I just like use custom dimensions and just create what I want. So let's say I want a um, a block of text that's going to be stacked up on top of each other and just fit in the far right hand side of my video. So I want it to be taller than it is wide. So let's say I'll just go with 400 pixels wide by 900 pixels tall and hit design. Now in Photoshop, um, you would just do something very similarly. You would just, you know, do it in Photoshop. So I wanted to show you guys the Canva option because that's, well, it's easiest, but it's also the one probably most of you will have access to. So on here, you can totally like drag any of these layouts over if you wanted images and things like that, but we're just going to play with the text. Um, I'm going to add a heading and I'm going to just going to say, so it's super easy. You can just completely um, play with it to where it looks like you want it to. Um, but here comes the next important part. Okay. So once you have your text, just like you like it, um, you, by the way, you can change the colors and all of that in here as well. So like, don't, you know, don't think you have to stay with like the regular black or whatever. You can definitely change the colors. Now from here, you'll want to download it as a PNG and you'll see here that the little um, thing is grayed out for transparent background. You actually have to have Canva for work, which is like their monthly subscription to be able to download as a transparent background. Um, so you might want to upgrade to that if this is something you plan to do a lot. Again, in Photoshop, it's really easy. You just export as a PNG and make sure the background is transparent. So. Anyway, you'll, you would normally just check that box and hit download to download this with just this text here and the white would be transparent. Okay, so if you're using Photoshop, I'm going to jump over there and show you how to do that in Photoshop as well. 
Okay, so in Photoshop, you'll just hit new and I'm going to create a new document that's the same size as the one I just did. So let's do 400 by 900. Um, I can just leave it at like 72 pixels or whatever. Um, doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so from here, I just want to add text and you can totally make a template for this in either Canva or Photoshop so that it makes it really easy to do every time you do it. Now in Photoshop, to make sure that your image when you export it is going to have a transparent background, you want to double click this background layer and hit OK. That just changes it from locked to unlocked and then you want to delete it. So now once you see these checks in the back, that means it's transparent. You also could have selected you wanted a transparent background when you created the new document a minute ago when I did that. So from there, you will just file and save as, which I'm sorry, that's off the screen, but essentially you'll just save it wherever you want to and you'll save it as a PNG. So hit OK there and you're done. So now whether you created it in Photoshop or Canva, we now have our transparent image essentially that we're going to add to an iMovie. Okay, so now that you have your transparent background, your transparent title, however you are doing that, you can have multiple ones created before you come into iMovie. But next, we want to come into iMovie and insert it. So if you've gotten this far in this tutorial and you're like, I don't really understand why I need this, this is why. Um, let's say I wanted to add a title here. The only options I have are the ones built into iMovie. There's no option in iMovie as of right now to add your own text with your own style and all of that. So you kind of have to use the ones built in and they're not the prettiest things in the world, right? So, um, and they have like weird transitions and if you just wanted like normal things, it's kind of hard to use this. Plus, if you want branded options, it makes it really hard because some of these titles and text are just standard and you have to keep the same font and same colors on there. Some of them you can change, some of them you can't. Okay, so anyway, let's say I just, I'm wanting to edit this and I wanna add my title to the right of me in this video or to the left, whatever. Um, what I wanna do is I want to go find it in my finder window. Um, I'm on a Mac, you can also do this exact same thing on a PC, um, but you can drag it straight from your files on to your video. Now, you could also go into iMovie and do import media and import the picture, okay? I just think it's easier to just drag and drop. So I'm actually going to grab it and I'm gonna pull it right on top of where I want it on the video. Now, you'll see that that added it like in a really weird way and it's actually blurry because I didn't make it big enough to fit the screen. So we have to go in and edit that. So you wanna make sure it's on top because that way it's not, like if you put it on bottom, it won't show up. Um, so make sure it's on top of where you want it. Click on it and then go right here to picture in picture. And then you also want to go right here to the little um, cropping title thingy, <laughs> the little cropping tool, and you wanna just hit fit. So now it's going to fit in your exact size that you made it, and you can go back to your other screen with that little toggle button. Now you don't have to hold shift or anything, you can just drag however you want this, and now it's in your exact size that you made it, and you can put it wherever you want to. Now you can also, um, you know, lengthen or shorten the time that it's on the screen. Um, so now it'll look like this. Okay. So that's all you have to do. You can just drag it and drop it. And then remember to do picture in picture and go to the crop and hit fit and drag and resize as needed. And other than that, that is all. So now you have really awesome branded text on your iMovie. How exciting is that? Like so easy, so fun, so cool. And now your possibilities are endless with iMovie and you don't have to feel restricted anymore. Now you know me, I'll be back very soon with more system and strategy tips for you. But in the meantime, 
hit the big red subscribe button because I want you following me around YouTube and I want you to be notified every single time that I put out a video. So hit subscribe and come back next time. Bye guys!